Chief X at you. I made this video just to be messy. Because I ain't got shit to do right now and I'm bored. So I said, let me fuck with some people. Because people keep mentioning my name as if I was wrong about something. Right? Two years ago, I started saying Garfield ain't got no book out. Garfield book is like Dr. Umar Johnson's school. M.I.A. So I told people this two years ago. Have you guys seen the book? He started collecting money over a year ago for this book he was supposed to put out. Not this year, January, February. But last year, over a year ago, January, February. Have y'all seen that book yet? I sure haven't. Guess why? Because it's not out. And guess what? Chief X was fucking right. Now, that's over. Garfield's been exposed about that. So you can't come two years later and put out a book talking about Chief X was wrong. Yeah, Garfield got a book. What the fuck is wrong with you, Unc? <laughs> He's been exposed on that. Took people's money over a year ago for this book. And everybody's money that he took, that people, if everybody's money, not one of them people got a book yet. Was I right? Hell yeah. Don't clean, try to clean it up now. Now, if Garfield do come out with a book, as he says, his book will be out in June. It's because Chief X put pressure on his ass. So anybody get a book? Call me and thank me for putting pressure on his ass so you wouldn't have wasted your little money on some punk-ass book talking about Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> you thank Chief X for putting pressure on him and making this nigga start getting busy and trying to put out a book. Listen. Listen to Garfield and I'll bring up my name and talk shit. Never do that because it's going to backfire. My book is coming out June 18, by the way. You cannot look forward to it. You cannot watch my channel if you don't buy my book. That's I so am looking at what, what book are you talking about, Garfield? Book. Wait, wait. My book is coming out June 18, by the way. You cannot look forward to it. You cannot watch my channel if you don't buy my book. That's so I am looking at what, what, what book are you talking about, Garfield? I'm talking book. about my book. Mis mis misconception and misinformation about the Black Hebrew Israelites coming out June 18th of this year. No, Chief X said you don't got no book, yo. You're oh, man. Well, Chief X, get you a copy. I got to talk shit then. Stop this. Now, here it is. Two years later, this nigga going to produce a book. And I'm going to act like Chief X said you ain't putting out no book as if I was wrong. Nigga, this is two years later. That shit is over. He didn't have no book when I said it. He's going to come out with one now because he's been busting his ass trying to put out some shit, copy and paste and shit, and, and plagiarizing other people's books. And watch, I'm telling you, and he's going to put it in his book. And it's going to be a little pamphlet. <laughs> Who in the fuck gives a shit about misconceptions of Hebrew Israelites? Some small little group no one gives a fuck about. That everybody and their mama already knows that they're wrong about. Ain't nothing but a black face on Christianity. Who gives a fuck? See, people put out these type of books to for attention, basically. It's not like you're trying to put out something for 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 the benefit of the public to learn. You just in this debate and debunk someone's mode and worried about Hebrew fucking Israelites. That's all you niggas do. Hebrew Israelites, Egyptians. Hebrew Israelites, Egyptians. 
And these niggas, these West African descendants, which I am, and Aunt Garfield and everybody else's West African descendants, now we're African Americans. None of y'all belong to either one of those cultures. None of them people are you or were you. You guys have for, for two decades been arguing and debating and writing books about a culture that ain't got nothing to do with you and it ain't yours. <laughs> Can you believe this? Think about it. From Dr. Ben on down, all them books on ancient Egypt don't mean a motherfucking thing. Because ain't none of it was your culture. You don't descend from none of them. It's, you know what it's like? I'm going to tell you what it's like. It's like people arguing about Japanese and Chinese culture and them fighting against each other. Like, like we, we, we black folks supposed to be woke or conscious. And we sitting there arguing about the Japanese and the Chinese. And for decades, like, I realized this is some fuck shit we was on. I was on some fuck shit some years ago. I don't know how I let it get me. <laughs> I really don't. Everything everybody wrote, lectured about for the last 30 years is trash. Because it's irrelevant. All those debates, the Kim and on trial debate, niggas is debating about Egypt and Israel. And none of them are their people. <laughs> None of them have anything to do with African Americans or West Africans. They weren't you. You weren't the Israelites and you weren't the Egyptians. It's the same thing as arguing about Japan and Chinese. You can't claim that either. You guys are, this is, this is crazy. And people know it right now. That's why I'm public enemy number one. I'm the last truth teller. <laughs> Let's listen to these fools again. Act like they. He said he got something coming out on June 18th. I don't know the significance of that date, but goddamn, you've been saying this for two years. Two years ago, it's supposed to come out. Oh, God, Phil. Oh, my book. book. About my book. Mis mis misconception of misinformation. You cannot watch my channel if you don't buy my book. That's so I am looking. What book you talking about, God, Phil? Oh, my book. book. About my book. Mis 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 misconception of misinformation by the Black Hebrew Israelites coming out June eighteenth. Misinformation and misconceptions by the Black Hebrew Israelites. What kind of a fucking book? And who gives a fuck about that? Like for real. Like. People, these, I, I realize a lot of these brothers in these cliques think in their mind, they say, if I write a book, then I can be considered a scholar. <laughs> nope. None of you are scholars. Dr. Reggie thinks he's a scholar, too. I was, I'd be listening to him. I'm like, are y'all serious? <laughs> You niggas ain't got no college education. At best, maybe a year. And talking about you a scholar. I'm the only one that can be real. I'm not a scholar. I'll beat a scholar's ass. I'm a wise man. That's why I got the whole conscious community in an uproar. And they all shaking in their boots. Whole squads trying to come at me. And can't. Niggas been trying to expose Chief X and can't find shit to expose him all. Because I'm clean. I never beat nobody out no money. I'm the best businessman the conscious community has seen. I'm about to get my license from the state of California to have a legal marijuana delivery service and my license to be a distributor. Meaning, people at dispensaries and delivery services have to get their product from me because I'm the distributor who's licensed. You think I give a fuck about some Hebrew Israelite book when I'm about to be a millionaire one day soon? 
I just I just dropped fifteen thousand dollars to pay for my license fees. And you niggas sitting up here talking about Hebrew Israelites and Egyptians. Yeah. No, Chief X said you don't got no book. Yo. You oh, make man. Chief, well, Chief, don't have a book. Chief X, get you a copy. <laughs> I got to talk shit then. <laughs> hey, um, did you know, um, did you know the Megalayan age? You said that's Reggie talking. He don't give a damn about no goddamn book either. And they all know Garfield bullshit, and that's why they changed the subject. But they don't care. I realize niggas don't give a shit. They just want to be on somebody's platform and be heard. If he come at fraudulent Garfield, then Garfield ain't going to want him on his platform, so he can't be on the platform. If he come at Ankh, he can't be on Ankh's platform. If he, I mean, you know what I mean? People will bullshit you and kiss your ass so they can be on a platform and be heard and seen. <laughs> I realize all these folk is trash and bullshit. You know what it is? Let me tell you the thing with Ock and Garfield. See, everyone, every, all these cats want to be popular. And they want to have a huge following. They want to do what, 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 what Young Pharaoh done and get 100,000 followers and be popular and be some celebrity conscious person. I'm telling you, that's these cats' intent. And it has always been their intent. But they're not dripping. They don't have the swag to do it. See, I've never tried. I've always told. I'm not a scholar. I don't. I, I've been live on YouTube twice in my life. I'm a Facebooker, so, so I'll just load up videos on YouTube so people can see them. And, you know, whatever. But that ain't never been my game. I tell. I've been telling people for years. I'm a businessman. That be y'all clout chasing and going on and. and oh, Someone such, such let me get on this panel. Oh, let me get on this panel. Oh, let me get on such and such panel. And you guys just be all over the place, clout chasing. Sean, any Herod, all these. Y'all be clout chasing. You guys are like the epitome of clout chasing. And nobody cares. <laughs> nobody will ever care. You guys will never have a following and be some conscious celebrity. You guys will only always for the rest of your life have two, three thousand views. That's it. That's it. At some point, you got to be real and say, I'm a grown ass man. Let me stop this fuckery. Nothing wrong with making videos and sharing information. But if you think this shit going to get you some money in your pocket or some fame when people gonna give a fuck, you're sadly mistaken. So Ankins Garfield intent for decade has been trying to become a conscious celebrity. And it just won't work and it doesn't work. Nobody cares. It's like even even Sonetta. People know Sonetta, but not like people think. <laughs> I can ask my blood brother and sisters right now. Have you heard of Sonetta? Who? No. Sonetta have all these bells and whistles and struggles to get views. Everybody that's been on his show and moved on from his show have way more subscribers and views. Like, if you noticed... Sonetta and then Gar Garfield, they remove where well, you can't see how many subscribers they have. This is how thirsty people be. They don't want you to see how many subscribers they have because they're embarrassed about it. That they've been doing all this motherfucking work and can't get all these subscribers and views. 
Like niggas been working hard all these years and put up a video only maybe getting 8,000 views. You might get 20,000 on a good fucking day. 13,000 on a good day. But your average is maybe 9,000 views. It's all a farce in a game. Garfield ain't had no book put out and took people's money over a year ago for the damn book and ain't sent them a book yet. I don't know what world you guys live in, but in my world, that don't fly. It don't fly. Nobody collects money from people for a book that they were supposed to write and get out over a year ago and still haven't sent people their book. This doesn't happen in the world of academia and book sales. This is some rare fuck nigga shit. I would be pissed off if I gave that nigga some money for a book. And a year and a half later, I still don't have it. Just think about this for a second. And, 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 and cut the bullshit. You pay for something a year and a half ago, and you don't you don't have what you paid for. Still in a year and a half. And these niggas act like I'm wrong or tripping. No, I'm not wrong or tripping. You niggas is crazy and full of shit. That's all that is. So, I don't mind being the Long Ranger. Actually, it's fun because I can sit back and laugh at you for clowns. And be the example of a real one. Everybody know I'm the baddest businessman in the conscious community. Everybody know I'm a fucking wise man. And you can't make that go away. At all. See... Garfield don't even have a business card <laughs> for credit repair. He don't even have a website for credit repair. What the fuck is you niggas doing and yapping about? All oh, that big mama house living. Crumped up in a little corner. I mean, <laughs> did you be real about it? I made all these niggas change how they live stream. Once I exposed Garfield and told him he had Big Mama's house with that big couch with that old motherfucking couch in the background and that fucking painting that niggas don't buy. I said, that nigga live with Big Mama or somebody. Why? That nigga never came, never had that background again. You see he switched to some little office and he's stuck in a little corner. He can barely move the camera up here. This nigga squashed up in the corner. <laughs> Even a SAR, he changed the way he's streaming his background. Niggas be scared to stream now because, hey, my background. <laughs> you can tell. Grown ass men ain't got their own space to do their own work in or to do a live stream on. Ah, uh, why don't you stop talking shit and mentioning my name, bro? <coughs> Just be real and tell people you moved in with your sister and your wife left you. Well, see, when, when, when niggas like Ankh and Garfield, Garfield said the other day, he said, polite is the goat. That means Garfield is a groupie. If he's calling a seriously pseudo person like polite, the goat, 
With all that misinformation he push and teach, all these motherfucking scams he done, and he calls him the GOAT, that's why I say birds of a feather flock together. You niggas can't see it, but I'm trying to tell you. When niggas like Ankh say out his mouth, polite as his boy, but then on the flip side, they can't stand Jabari. Birds of a feather flock together. You niggas will never have any clout. You niggas will never be popular. You will only be known to a few niggas in the conscious community. It will never jump off for you. Get that in your head. <laughs> All these books niggas is writing, you're not making no goddamn money because niggas ain't buying books. It's like, it's like the video stores. Remember how you... They used to have blockbuster videos and all these places they shut down. People be buying ebooks now. People buy books, and there's nothing wrong with buying books. You, you should buy books. Let me clear that up. And people should write books. But what is your motive? <laughs> That's my thing. What is your motive for writing these books? Your intent is to clout chase and to hotep hustle. Your intent is to get over on the people with some motherfucking revised history. You niggas is trash. 